start. And then just write how we know how to. You ready, Tate? Mm -hmm. Got your transponder on? Is it yours? You can log some good laps for Kaya. Probably the hardest thing when you have two kids and two of everything is like making sure that they both get what's theirs. Especially when you have fire drills, right? Yeah. Good. Are we ready? Oh my God, Chad. Good start.
started off on the right foot yesterday for obvious reasons. Bike didn't, you know, didn't want to run normal with the top end out, but when it had a brand new top end in it, so I don't know, I don't know why it sounded weird. It didn't sound right to me, so I shut it down and we didn't do any damage. There was nothing wrong that I could see too, too crazy. So anyway, threw another one in. It fired up. It's it's running good and normal. She gets pre lap, so she'll get you know a couple of those jumps. It's only 15 minutes, but I think in 15 minutes is still a long, tough race. Um, such a slow pace around here. It's not big, fast straightaway, so I think the heat gets to a lot of people. So I think that she just needs track position, ride smart, and should be, should be okay. I think. Ready? Yeah. Ready. Look at that smile. You've been waiting a long time. Yeah, but um, tomorrow we get a day off, so um, yeah, we'll push hard today. A day off tomorrow, and, uh, and then we're back at riding the next day. But um, yeah, we're just gonna go have some fun. Good starts. Hopefully. Sometimes you gotta let them go through it, you know, like you 
can do the best as a dad that has kind of been there and done it and understands those feelings, but she's not exempt from that. Like, I don't get to take that away from her, you know? Like, she has to learn, she has to live it, she has to feel it, to then conquer it and make herself better in life, not just motorcycle racing. So, I hate to say it, I was disappointed in her riding. Like, she's normally better than that. She normally overcomes it. Um, and at no point did she just ever get on top of it. You know, I think she was quite scared, you know? She didn't start off on the right foot. She had a rough qualifying or practice yesterday. Um, we had the bike issue with the bike. But I really thought she would bounce back and be okay. She had a tough one. I felt like she rode sideways the whole time, so. Um, anyway, I hope that she'll overcome that and, and that'll make her better, you know, make her stronger. And she's kind of a tough crowd. She's given her brother a hard time for doing similar things. and. Now she knows the feeling, and so I think that ethics intact, she'll know better than to treat her brother like that sometimes. So I think all in all, they're healthy. They they didn't know, you know, like the day didn't go perfectly, but I think that for our first time, really first time racing this year, what more could you really expect, you know? I think that as the week goes on, I would like to see improvement. And I guess that's really the, the name of the game, and the, my hope for the week is the improvement, you know? just. Just keep learning, keep getting better. I think it's just, yeah, focusing on our kids. Um, okay, drops, go. Let's do it. At Mountain Motorsports, we don't just sell power sports. We sell opportunities for adventure. Mountain Motorsports operates 10 dealerships across Georgia, Tennessee, and Alabama with tons of in-stock inventory of motorcycles, ATVs, side-by-sides, watercraft, and more. It's our mission to help you find and customize the perfect machine for you and your riding style. Not only are we committed to getting you on the perfect machine, but with over 200 years of combined experience in our service departments, we also support you through every step of your adventure ahead. Together, we make the road less traveled the most thrilling adventure of your life.
you start, put yourself in that 18th, 20th place, and then throw yourself on the ground because you want to be in the back. Oh, oh, this is going to be a long 20 minutes. Dude, pick some lines. Let some laps go by. Good start. Really good start. All right. Well, Loretta's has been some ups and downs. We got a really good start on that last one. And then we jumped one of the jumps that I hadn't jumped before. I think they say like in the storyland I did that triple for the first time on the first lap. And then I went down on like the second, like third lap. I lost the rear end. And then from there I didn't ride my best. Kind of played around with it, but I didn't do how great I thought I could have done. So this next one I really want to get a good start. And then I also want to get the place that I want to finish in. So hopefully that I can ride my full potential and be somewhat in the top 20. And then this is start of second motos, right? Yeah, start of second motos. A little nervous on this one, but that's every single one. So should we go out there and have fun? Do the best we can.
just in general, everybody warming them up at 6.15, getting down there to pick their gates, and so they had a 7.30 mo uh, moto, so uh, I got up and watched that, it was, a, it was a fun race, and then we were on at 2 and 6, so I don't even know what to say, to be honest. Uh, tough day, probably just, I have so much to say, but I think it's going to happen off camera. <laughs> I just don't think it's, I don't have the words to look at it with a gap, you know, glass half full. I think that it's unacceptable, it's embarrassing, um, and I'm not okay with it. So we need to have a big, long conversation to see if this is really what we want to do, because a lot has changed for me to continue doing this on a week-to-week -week basis.